What's happening YouTube, PokePHD here. Welcome to my video on the top 5 cards to collect from Sword and Shield Silver Tempest. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to announce I'll be giving away this Hollow Quagsire from Heart Gold Soul Silver. And in order to be eligible for the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment to say what your favorite derpy Pokemon is and why. Now let's get straight into the video. Coming in at number 5 is the Rayquaza VMAX. So similar to Lost Origin and the Pikachu VMAX from there, Pokemon have decided to put one of these big hitter VMAX uh, alt art like cards in the training gallery. Of course that's going to affect how kind of frequently the, the card itself is pulled. Uh, but regardless, we're talking about Rayquaza which is a very popular Pokemon and the art itself is pretty dope. You've got Xenia in the um, foreground and uh, this giant VMAX Rayquaza. Um, the card looks awesome and so I gonna see you know a lot of people picking this one up at number four you've got reggie drago or reggie drago however you like to pronounce it reggie drago is going to be one of the three alt art cards in silver tempest and for me i just really enjoy the art here we're talking about you know the kind of ancient ruins in the background which is very reminiscent of you know reggie is a reggie Pro pokemon the original reggie trio from ruby sapphire and emerald and so i think i don't think it's the most popular pokemon in the world but Again, I think the art is fantastic, very similar to or of a very high quality like a lot of the alt arts in this era. So I can see that card being very popular and that's why it comes in at number four. At number three, I have the leader of the Snowpoint City Gym. That's Candice from the original Diamond, Pearl and Platinum games. Candice, I don't think is the most popular Pokemon uh, trainer, but uh, I, you know, I like the fact that she's kind of got this pose going on of course it's a, it's a waifu card that's going to appeal to a lot of people anyway and then of course and then at the same time you've got this background this snow covered background which is obviously i guess part of uh snowpoint city itself which further kind of enunciates her as this ice type gym leader and i think it's a great looking card overall the card itself comes from the paradigm trigger japanese set and it's almost around 300 dollars already um the card alone in Jap in, in japanese of course we know japanese waifu cards are significantly more uh, sought after and expensive compared to the the english counterparts um but it'll be interesting to see what this card does um in the uh, in the set at number two i picked out serena so serena was one of the protagonists from the x and y era again another waifu card another full art trainer another um just you know a card that's going to appeal to certain people and um Again, the Japanese version is going for an insane amount of money. I think we're close to like $200 on that card, um, which we obviously don't see replicated in the English versions, usually because I guess there, uh, there's not that um, kind of demand for them. And then also they're probably printed to, to a much higher number at the same time. But I think Serena herself, like Candice, just it's a cool, she's a cool Pokemon. She kind of reminds Pokemon Trainer. Uh, she kind of reminds me of some of the similar designs from other very popular full arts, you know, like your... Um, some of your lily cards for example it's kind of that kind of pose of moving and walking away don't think that's necessarily a big reason why this card would be popular i think her, her name the fact that some people are just going to appreciate that it's another waifu card and um yeah again it's just another full art trainer on the list and just a few honorable mentions before we get into number one so those honorable mentions include uh the full art lance so i can't recall there being a lance card previously i'm not too sure and I think because of that i would have put this card on the list maybe at number five and number four uh, but i just put some of the other cards ahead and um, just in case there's also the the furry sodi uh, i'm unsure how to pronounce that exactly but that's another um uh, full art trainer another japanese full art trainer another kind of waifu card that people would be interested in in there's the secret rare the gold secret rare lugia and the gold secret rare um, servine uh, which I think again two popular cards. Uh, Lugia is a ridiculously popular Pokemon uh, and I think Servine's obviously reasonably popular considering it is a starter maybe not the most liked starter I don't think Snivy was necessarily the best starter from from uh, generation 5 but again a couple of very interesting cards and it'd be interesting to see what happens with them and last uh, certainly not least and probably the most obvious answer you were expecting to see here is the Lugia Altar and this for me and for everyone pretty much is likely to be the most collectible card from silver tempest so if you're keeping an eye on the japanese market this card came from the paradigm trigger set and it is a 700 dollar card straight out the box i think it's around a more close to 600 at the moment but it's kind of in that ballpark region 
an insanely popular card i don't in you know we'll see over time how easy it is to pull in uh, you know when, once we get some figures from tcg player for example it might be worth looking into for that just to kind of see how the price goes but you know i'm expecting like umbreon vmax levels of, of price um because of this i'm actually not the biggest fan of the art i think the regular v card art if they did something with that with like Lug lugia kind of coming out the water um um, you know similar to maybe the movie 2000 i think that, that would have i mean not to say this card won't you know kind of take the, the scene by storm but i think that would have been in you know so much better but you now we'll um i guess we'll obviously see how how the, the card uh, performs in the english market but regardless it's a full art it's an alt art lugia um i still think yeah the arts are, are still pretty cool again not not wouldn't be my favorite but still a fantastic looking card still a fantastic pokemon still a very popular pokemon so and that's why i put it at my number one thanks for checking out the video if you enjoyed what you saw please feel free to leave a like um, leave a comment and remember you can enter the giveaway for the hollow quagsire all you have to do again is like comment subscribe to the channel and you'll be automatically entered so uh, hopefully i'll catch you on the next one